I've told y'all about this view before I have for my apartment. The growth's coming back, so we're about to lose it, but it's a nice skyline. Wouldn't you know it, I got up early, got ready early, left early, all ready to head out early, and then I'm leaving late because I forgot something at home. So I had to go home and get it. And I live 20 minutes from the yard, so. 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. That's 40 minutes. I'm an hour. Call it an hour. Roundabout drive. So yeah. Well, I'm headed out. And then it's been trying to rain on and off all morning. We're dealing with that. weekend made it over to my uh, place I was planning on going to that has the uh, RC park got there early enough that they were serving me had some uh, barbecue while I was there and messed around and drove my truck and actually just enjoying my time that I didn't get around to shooting anything so no footage of that and then while I was there I, uh, I broke my uh, I didn't break it but I chewed up my uh, axle in my diff. Sorry, maybe that's really a sharp turn. On the sidewalk. That's a really bad turn right there. If you've ever gone through Lebanon, Tennessee, you know the one I'm talking about. Off of, uh, the road that you can get off to go to 40 from uh, 231, or 31E, is it there? No, this is 231. I forget the name of these roads, I'm on them so often, like I don't even need to know the names. But yeah, I uh, actually was using my little comp crawler style truck this time. It was actually doing pretty good for a little stock truck. The only thing I'd done to it is put bigger tires on it that had a little more weight because there were bead locks. And because it flips so easy and I guess because uh, the body's so light that you could almost hold the wheels and throttle and it'll spin around the wheels as you're holding them. So it it pinches in to a crevice real easy if you're if you're like sideways or you got all your weight on one corner. It'll actually flip the truck. Yeah, so I uh I was starting to strip out where the drive shaft seats into this ring gear. Which I thought the ring gear housing was metal, but I'm starting to think it was plastic where the drive shafts are metal. Because, like, you've got to disassemble the whole thing to do any kind of maintenance, which I, I did that. I went home and took it apart with it so I, that's what I know that's how I know what's wrong with it <clears throat> which is why I'm trying to find some different axles for it to upgrade it so it it doesn't quite have that issue 
but like all hobbies, RC stuff is expensive. It's like 150 bucks if I wanted to just buy new stock axles for like a TRX4 or a Red Cat Gen 8, which is about what I want to do. I'm not sure. Those usually come with uh, what's called a portal axle. But I'm thinking I might just find some regular axles that don't have the portal and put bigger tires on the truck. Because all my trucks run 1.9 tires because they're uh, they're just regular suspension. Well, I can go up a tire size to a 2.2, which will give me a taller tire, which I might just go ahead and do that. Order up a set of 2.2s. They almost have the same rim diameter. It's just a bigger tire. <coughs> but there's a slight variant to it, so there's that. Or I might get away with just getting some uh, XL 1.9s. I might try that. Some XL 1.9s. I got the foams for them because I ordered by accident and I know what they were. But anyhow, that's, that's rambling about RCs a lot. I'm sure there's not too many people that care. I got me a GoPro. Got a really good deal on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It's a GoPro Hero. It's the one they came out with between 3 and 4 where it's got the internal battery. No Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capability. And it's essentially the camera built into the housing for like the waterproof housings you can get for them. And I've been using it on and off. I was kind of messing with it Saturday when I was doing my truck. <coughs> it takes really good video. I see now why people use GoPros. Like my camera shoots pretty good, but like, or the camera on my phone shoots pretty good, but like this GoPro, like, just fiddling with it, playing with, because uh, I recorded myself working on the truck just to kind of see how it how it handled being on for a little while, just kind of testing it out, figuring out all the buttons and whatnot. It's got really bad mic on it for any kind of uh, recording with the waterproof housing on it, or the waterproof door. It has a second door that allows you to like uh, not be waterproof so that the mic actually picks up audio. So when that when that little door is on there that's got the holes in it for the uh, mic to actually be able to hear what's going on, it's it's a really good shooting camera. <laughs> I'd love to bring it with me in the truck and actually get some like roadside shots or whatever, but because it doesn't have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, I need a computer. Another reason for me to get a laptop finally now. Because I've been looking at them and looking at them and looking at them. And I'd like to get this like a like a brand new one that's <coughs> like recent uh, hardware because they just came out with like the the 40 series graphic card through NVIDIA and then Radeon I think it's like 6000 series is the current one I'd like to go ahead and get a laptop with like a maybe not a 40 but like a 30 30 series which is I think it's I think those cards are two years old now. I think they're two years old. And the 40 series just came out this year, so that's the current generation. But anyhow, I want a future proof, basically. Like, I'd like to get something that's 
this generation so that I'll be able to use it for like another five or six years at least. But that's like a 1200 laptop. And that's not in the budget. So I'll probably be scanning Facebook again trying to find me like a $100, $200, maybe three tops laptop. Because at this point, like, I'm just going to just get something that works. Something that's at least DDR4 RAM. Something that I can put a bigger hard drive in or add to the hard drive that's already in it. Like, I'd love to get something with, like, a, a terabyte in it already. But everything I've been looking at lately that I've been looking at, like, what I'd be willing to, like, put on a credit card kind of thing. They're only, like, 500 gig hard drives. And it's the $1,200 ones or so that actually have a terabyte in them already, so. But it's not too hard to add, it's not too hard to add memory to a computer. Especially with everything going to MVMEs or M.2s whichever lingo you'd rather use. <laughs> it's not too hard to add memory. Or storage, let me print it. Storage, it's not hard to add storage. today's useless knowledge. Kind of got a couple of five ton ones, but I'm going to think them through a little bit better. Alright, so this is going to be a little different. I'm in the bunk, ready for bed, and realized I didn't finish today's video, so I figured I'd go ahead and shoot it here. This be a little different. I hope this red doesn't mess with people. There's my useless knowledge. Red light does not hinder your night vision. You ever notice in old World War movies, they go red alert and all the lights go red? You ever seen the movies where the Spec Ups guys are using their flashlights with the red filter? That's why. You don't lose your night vision or you don't lose the ability to see things from like, uh, what's the word? Um, it's not light blindness, but it's like, it keeps your pupils small so they can see good at night. Whereas if it was a white light or a blue light, you're your pupils get really dilated. Or is it the other way around? I don't know, but red lights help keep your night vision. So, guys, put red lights in your cab. Do red lights. Don't do blue, don't do purple, don't do green. Though green, in my opinion, if you need a if you need to be able to see well, but not have a really bright light so that it's like blinding, green is your color. I rolled around for years with a uh, Dodge Neon and I, I changed out my dome lights for green and I could always see better at night to the point where I could go back to driving without like seeing spots from it being so bright. It's not as good as a red light, but it it doesn't hinder your night vision as much so there you go I keep looking to my right because I've got my uh, TV screen sharing Ooh. and then there's a delay
and that's it. Have a good night, people.